Congratulations, and thank you for owning one of the most sophisticated trailer braking systems available today. Whether you tow for work or play, you can depend on Tecancha to enhance your towing experience by working to make sure both your tow vehicle and the trailer it's pulling slow down and stop at the same time. Over the next several minutes, we will show you some important setup steps to be sure you have the smoothest braking experience possible. If you have questions or need more specific information, please either refer to the installation and owner's guide enclosed with your control or call us. If this is your first installation, please listen for a moment to some important tips. Performance braking controls are directional. This means that the back of the control must be positioned toward the front of the vehicle or in the direction of travel. Locate the mounting position on the face of the dash in the most convenient position possible and within easy reach. Many brake controls have a primary operating range, nose up or nose down. Refer to your installation instructions for the range that applies to your control. Most newer vehicles have a brake control vehicle plug-in point located in the primary electrical harness under the dash. Use the vehicle-specific wiring harness, sometimes provided by the automobile manufacturer or available separately from your brake control supplier, to connect the brake control wiring. Then plug it in under the dash. If your vehicle is older or does not provide a plug-in point, Use the generic wiring instructions provided with the brake control or see your dealer for installation details. If you have questions, please refer to the owner's guide or give us a call. The first step in positioning the sensor for a Takancha Voyager brake control is to park the tow vehicle and trailer on as level a surface as possible. With the trailer's connector connected to the tow vehicle, the first thing that you will notice is the bicolored LED on the front of the control will be glowing green. This will let you know that you have a complete circuit between the tow vehicle and the trailer. Next, find the power control knob on the right side of the control and turn it clockwise toward the front of the vehicle until the maximum setting is reached. Depress the brake pedal and hold it. Look at the bicolored LED on the control. If the light is green in color, find the level knob on the left side of the control and rotate it counterclockwise toward the front of the vehicle until the LED begins to pulsate between green and orange. You will want to move back into the green by rotating the level knob on the left side of the control clockwise toward the rear of the vehicle just a little at a time. What you're doing here is setting the sensor at the transition point just between the green and the flashing red. Tow the trailer at about 25 miles per hour and do a couple of slow speed stops as if coming to a stop sign and notice the feel of the trailer. Does it seem to pull a little at the end of the stop? If it does, your sensor setting is a little too aggressive. Simply move the level knob clockwise very slightly and repeat the stop. Repeat the procedure until you feel the truck and trailer break smoothly together. If you feel a pushing sensation from the trailer, it's because the opposite has occurred and you have a delayed setting on the sensor control. Simply move the level knob counterclockwise slightly 
into a more aggressive position. Once this is done, the control is set and should not have to be reset until such a time that the road conditions change or the trailer weight changes significantly. Keep in mind that the power knob should never be used to fine tune your control. Harsh, aggressive braking at slow speed stops is usually caused by an improper sensor setting. After you have driven several miles and the trailer brakes have warmed up, you may want to repeat this process to further refine your stops. Please refer to the owner's guide on warming the brakes. Because every trailer is different, your brake control needs to learn the weight of the trailer and condition of the trailer brakes. This is required to determine the optimum power necessary during an emergency stop without trailer wheel lockup. First, rotate the knob on the right side of the control so that the notch is in the 12 o'clock position. Tow the trailer on as level a surface as possible and attain a constant speed of between 20 and 25 miles per hour and engage the manual slide bar found in the front of the control. You will notice that the bicolored LED will turn from green to orange to red, indicating an increase of current to the brakes. Hold this for a few seconds and release. If the trailer brakes did not lock up, Increase the power by turning the knob on the right side of the control clockwise toward the front of the vehicle and repeating the manual engagement. Repeat these steps until such a time that the trailer brakes are just below wheel lockup. If at any time brakes do lock during this procedure, reduce the power by turning the knob counterclockwise toward the rear of the vehicle. Now the setting has been made so that the power output is just below wheel lockup. It's that easy. For information to fine tune your system for optimal performance, check your owner's guide for details. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.